LeBron James in year 21 continues to be an extremely productive player on the court. But at age 39, how exactly is LeBron still doing this? Now the first thing I think we have to look at is LeBron's outside shooting. James is currently shooting a career high 41% from 3. And that right now is vital for LeBron's game. Because James currently doesn't have that same quick twitch explosiveness in the half court. Not being able to effectively burst by the first line of defense or elevate up to create high quality looks at the rim. But James has found ways to work around that with his outside shooting. Next year, LeBron over the years has turned into a really good spot up shooter. Being able to efficiently get into a shot off the catch while also being able to space out well behind the line. The Lakers this year have been using James a lot as a pick and pop man. You'll see him here set the screen for Austin Reeves. And notice how Reeves pulls two defenders towards the ball, opening up this pass back up to James for a rhythm three. LeBron is also pretty comfortable shooting on the move. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say he's a Klay Thompson or Steph Curry type of movement shooter. But the Lakers have found some success running James through some off-ball actions. You'll see LeBron on this play slip out of the screen, then blast off his flare. And notice how James is able to turn towards the ball and get himself squared up on the catch, to then rise up into his jumper in one smooth motion. You'll see the Lakers run the exact same play here, where James again slips this screen and sprints off this AD flare, and it leads to another wide open three. Now LeBron also generates a good amount of threes off the dribble, and most of these looks find him in pick and roll, where LeBron's able to punish these soft coverages from the defense. You'll see James and AD here playing a two man game, and notice how much space the Suns give LeBron on the screen allowing him to rise up into an uncontested jump shot. We can see the same thing here, where James Harden gets hung up on the screen and Westbrook is late to show up, which allows James to simply rise up into this practice shot. Now LeBron commonly gets these soft coverages because he's still one of the best passers across the league. If the defense tries to play aggressive and fight over the screens, that allows James to turn the corner and pull the attention of this drop big, which opens up these pocket passes. And LeBron can dot these passes through really small windows. On this play, you'll see him working off the screen towards his right. And notice how this defender steps up to meet James at the level of the screen. But from this spot, LeBron has no problem needling this pass through this tight gap. Now we have James playing with the ball in transition, and notice how D'Angelo Russell is just going to cut across towards the middle, but this defender still hedges up at LeBron, which in return gives James a window to knife another pocket pass. And while James has for sure lost a lot of his quickness, he still has a really strong fiscal frame, which allows him to maneuver his way into the paint, opening up more passing options. Watch Devin Booker on this play fight over the screen, and as LeBron starts coming downhill, notice how he's going to veer back into Booker, to then chisel and work all the way down into the paint. And from here, notice how much LeBron has collapsed the defense, and that opens up this easy pass back up to AD for a routine jumper. And then on top of all that, LeBron also has a good feel for the entire court. You'll see him here read this defender slide across to provide extra help on the roller. So in response, James is going to laser the skip pass to the opposite corner. To the corner, Russell. Wow. So LeBron's ability to punish off-ball defenders who overcommit to him with the ball in return gives him the space to play one-on-one. -on -one. Now, when looking at LeBron's game in isolation, we have to come back to his three-point shooting. Whenever James is going against a mismatch, he loves to work his man down and create separation to his left. Obviously, one of LeBron's go-to moves is his change of pace step back, where he takes one casual dribble and lifts his chest up to then quickly plant off his right foot and sidestep into a three. Notice on this play how LeBron is going to push the defender's top foot back, which gives him plenty of space to rise up. 
and LeBron also has some different variations off this move. Watch him here again bring the ball to his left side, but then he's going to drop his shoulders and aggressively step left right, which pushes the defense's momentum back and gives James the space to rise up. Now again, James has lost a lot of his quickness, but he still has plenty of that old man strength, which allows him to bully and physically overwhelm smaller matchups. And what really allows LeBron to post up and play with so much space is his passing. Defenses are well aware that LeBron has the ability to dot any one of these passes, which in return gives him the time and space to play bully ball down low. Backing him down, James! Easy work. And on top of that strength, James also has really good stability and body control, being able to absorb contact and step through into finishes. This layup here is tough, where James is coming downhill off the screen, and watch him throw his inside shoulder into this big. Then LeBron from here has the control to establish a pivot foot and step around into a finish. I also like this move here, where James is going to start this play backing down towards his right to then re-attack towards the middle. And again, notice how LeBron is going to pick up and step through the defense to then extend up and get this putback. So because James doesn't have the same vertical pop off the floor, he's had to develop some different more crafty finishes around the basket. When going against length, James likes to extend out into these high arcing layups, which he can effectively hit from a variety of angles. Watch him here lower his shoulder into this drop big, to then extend out and put up the soft push shot off the glass. LeBron is also very good at using these tighter angles around the basket to create these small pockets to finish. On this play, you'll see LeBron turn the corner off the screen and notice how the shot blocker is rotating over from the weak side. So in response, LeBron is going to get to this tight inside hand finish and he's able to use the rim as a shield, which gives James a tight window to sneak this layup through. Now another way LeBron is able to work around not having great quickness is to instead pick up momentum off the dribble. When James has the space to pick up ahead of steam, he's pretty much impossible to cover one on one. And that's especially the case in transition, where it all comes back to his combination of strength and body control. Watch him here bump this defender off of his forearm to then gather the ball off his left foot and from here he's able to extend all the way to the rim with his next two steps. This is also one of LeBron's favorite moves here where he picks up momentum by skipping off his left foot to then replant it and push himself downhill. James serves it up and in beautifully. And that's also the case for LeBron's game in the half court. If he's able to pick up a head of steam with the ball, he's going to be a handful for any backline defense. When playing from a standstill, LeBron likes to use these skip steps with the ball to build up momentum off the bounce. Watch him here skip up off his left foot to then punch his right foot back, which shoots him downhill into a drive. James also gets plenty of opportunities to pick up ahead of steam in the short rolls. On this play, notice how LeBron is already sprinting downhill before he catches the ball, and he's able to explode into this open space, to then turn into this layup at the rim. You'll see LeBron use that same skip step as he rolls, where James is going to skip off his right foot as soon as he catches, to then replant it and launch himself downhill. Now, if LeBron's not able to pick up a head of steam off the bounce, he does have a hard time consistently penetrating and getting into the deep paint, which leads to him taking these pull-ups or turnaround mid-range jumpers. And this is where I think LeBron can run into some issues. James is currently not the most efficient in between score, and right now he's shooting a higher percentage from behind the three compared to his mid-range looks. Now these aren't necessarily bad shots for James, but I do think LeBron right now can provide plenty of scoring by primarily leaning on his 3 point shooting and downhill scoring when it's available. Plus, James still commands a ton of attention from the defense, which in return opens up his playmaking. I think LeBron right now still has the skill and physical tools to be a really good player in today's game.
He's obviously by no means a top tier player in the league today, but I don't see any reason why James can't consistently average over 20 points a game over the next two or three seasons. If you want to support this channel directly, feel free to check out my Patreon for exclusive breakdowns. But regardless, I still appreciate you stopping by, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.